old warriors, are we not? <laughs> oui, Maréchal. At Verdun. We defeated the Germans without concession. I remember uh, that it's because uh, we had a Maréchal called Pétain, a great hero of France. <laughs> Just a soldier doing his duty. But all that has changed. Both of us are now ambassadors of France. Although diplomacy is not work I have much patience for. Well, I uh, imagine uh, that is why I'm here. Yes. <laughs> Minister Laval has recalled me because he feels the country needs someone who can show strength to our oppressors. I have no doubt that you are that man. No warrior likes surrender. But we must be practical. To side with Britain is to lie down with the corpse. We will have to deal with the Germans on their terms. I believe the Germans are still quite reasonable. If managed correctly, the life of a Frenchman need not change. Exactly. I've heard talk of resistance, suicide. Cooperation is the key. The Germans have other goals in mind some of which will not harm the overall condition of Europe. Mm. Are you with me, de Villiers? Je suis avec vous de tout Once a soldier, always a soldier. I won't go. I won't leave you. You gave me your promise. Remember. Ah, we've been through all this. Now, listen to me. Leon! I cannot leave France. I know that. 
I cannot leave France because I must stay with Pétain. Pétain? How can you work with that traitor? It's against everything you believe in, everything you love. I made a commitment. Please do not question. I'm your wife. Tell me the truth. Pétain needs me. I can say no more. You're going to spy. They'll kill you if they find out. Much worse to you. I have already failed because I have told you so much. But I can't bear you feeling about me like this. Now, will you leave France? I beg you. No matter what they say about me, no matter how humiliated you may feel, you must never tell anyone. Many lives. scared I'll ever see you again. We will be together when all this insanity is over. Huh? <laughs> Write to me, please. Yes. But be careful what you say. We will not know who sees the letters. And you'll find Robert. And you'll help him leave France. You know I will. Coming aboard. Watch your step. Bonne chance, madame. 
Welcome aboard. Thank you, Captain. Uh, if you'll excuse me, we must get underway because there are German boats all around us and, well, we're sitting ducks. Can you show Madame de Vier to her cabin? Engines, pull ahead. Surprise. <laughs> Come on. Sit down. It's not social, Father. I'm here on business. Oh, that sounds very serious. Huh? <laughs> oui, Jacques, uh, those are the ones. Well, what uh, business would you like to discuss? My friend Marisha and her family are German refugees. They were in the St. Louis. France has taken them in. But they must leave. What is it you want from me? Father, they're Jewish. They'll be sent back to Germany. They need French passports to get out of France. Robert. Unfortunately, I do not have the power to grant such favor. I'm sorry. And the way things are at the moment, I'm afraid no one else could give this matter any priority. I'm truly sorry. So that's it? I'm sorry? These people could die and all I hear from you is I'm sorry? Now hold on to yourself. Huh? Paper shuffler! It's too much trouble to do something that's meaningful. You're just too busy bowing and scraping. Robert! Excuse me, sir, but uh, your son does not understand what he is asking. This is not a French problem. is one of our troop ships. She was torpedoed by a Nazi submarine. We are going to take on survivors. Now, anyone with any medical training, will you go to the dining room immediately? The rest of you, find as much clean linen as possible. If you have any pain medication, hand it in. Will you please get dressed as quickly as possible and assemble on deck? Stay calm. And may God save us all. Side. My son, cold. 
Oh, your color's fine. I think you're going to be just fine. Do you know how to do a tourniquet? Two inches above the elbow, tie it off. When the blood stops, you stop. Bandages, bandages over everything. We need more blood cuts. Move to the next stop. Don't move it. I want this man down below deck now and prepared for surgery. He's going into shock. Hey, son. Can you help with this? Of course. Yeah. Just hold them. Try to keep a little pressure on it, all right? Get a doctor over here, right away. Would you look after this boy? At this stage, I certainly think he needs your help far more than he does mine. Encourage him. Good girl. Just lie back. Beautiful you are. Don't try to talk. Maybe. Maybe. When I'm on my feet again. You and I. There's a, a pub I know. In, in Dover. We could talk. What are you doing here? I was going home to be with Johnny. Where's Armand? He's still in France. We're in desperate need of help. Will you please come with me? Yes, that's very good. A nice, even, steady pulse. Excellent. Uh, John, would you cut his pan back for me, please? How's his pulse? Pulse is strong. Good. Would you attend to the tourniquet? Don't worry about it. Really hard. Once again. Don't be frightened. Good. Lancet. Sponge. Saw. Oh, my. So much shrapnel. Leanne, I can't see a damn thing. More sponges, dear. I'm afraid it's the aorta. John? You can take that off now. I'm sorry. He's dead. A terrible night. Twenty-five dead already. I was having a word with the doctor. He seems to think they'll be even more by morning. Oh, these poor boys. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely, 
goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. wish you to know how much we appreciate your invaluable help and kindness. We all thank you very much. See you. Yeah, we were lucky to get out when we did. I left London in such a hurry, all I had were the clothes on my back. I still don't understand how I missed you. When I came on board, they took me straight to my cabin. I stayed there until I saw the explosion. You know, my stateroom on the Queen Mary was called the Dorchester. Must have been prophetic. Nobody's gonna believe what we've been through back in the States, if we get back. I'm just gonna wash up and go back up there. Look, you've gotta get some rest. You've been on your feet for 18 hours. Get some fresh air. sinking an average of eight Allied ships each patrol. Although convoys are being diverted to alternate routes, last night two more troop ships were sunk by German U-boats. As of now, there are no known survivors. Now we return you to the BBC regular programming. So bad. Do you think we'll ever make it home?
Our government is in bed with the crowds. Yeah, it's only a matter of time, I suppose. I need four passports. The information is in the journal. All of it is there. I will arrange for an official staff. It will take some time. Demand increases every day. Damn crowds. You do your best, huh? Say, you know Victor Hugo? Mais oui, naturellement. I prefer Les Misérables. Moi aussi, especially now. Our code. Bon. Victor Hugo. Raw potato. I like it. Trade you for a care. The horrible toll of life loss continues to rise as the Battle of the North Atlantic escalates. There is growing concern that very soon, no ships will be able to penetrate the German U-boat's devastating blockade of the European continent. We'll be home soon. We'll be in New York tomorrow, Nick. gonna sound so crazy with all this suffering going on around us but I feel so happy I feel the same way people are so amazing we can do just about anything to survive just so life can continue strong people can't be defeated you and I are strong Leanne First time we met. I love you. I have always loved you.
I've been thinking a lot about it, but the answers just don't come. Yes, they do. Leanne, I don't want this to end. It has to. You have a son, and I have a husband. remember how much we loved each other. I'm sure he had his reasons, Robert. You must not blame him. It is a time to be careful. He doesn't know us. Don't worry. We find a way. We have before, haven't we, Aaron? Maybe we can ride bicycles. We could pedal our bikes so fast across the border, the old Nazis wouldn't even see us. Oh, Aaron. Without passports, the only friendly border is Switzerland. And that's really far away from here. Anyway, if just one Nazi will see us, we'll be sent back to Germany. Robert, we are extremely grateful for what you've tried to do for us. But you must no longer be involved. It, it could be dangerous for you and your family. Mrs. Hillman, Marisha is very important to me. I must try to help somehow. Are you scared? More for my family than myself. I promise I won't let anything happen to you. Let's not make any promises.
that it was beautiful. Mr. Burnham, welcome to Boston, sir. Good to be here. Look what I brought Johnny. Oh, he'll love it. Hello, Edward. So glad to have you back. You're looking fit, considering. Uh, I read about your crossing in the Times. Pretty terrifying. Leon! Johnny! Oh, oh yeah. sorry. Oh. Let me look at you. I missed you. I missed you too, Dad. <laughs> look what I brought you. Oh, my dog. Oh, thank you. We were so worried about you when Paris fell. Yeah. Mom said you might never come back. She said what? She said you wanted to stay in Paris. Johnny, did you believe that? Not really. Not when I read your letters. Uh, did you get injured, Dad? No, not a scratch. Oh, this is such a great dog. Oh, can I name him Paula? You can name him anything you want to. I haven't seen so much enthusiasm in a long time. Where is Hillary? Well, uh, she never did like Boston. She uh, took a couple of days in Newport. Two weeks, Grandpa. Johnny, why don't you get your things together? We'll go catch up with your mother. Been packed for days. Come on, Pa. Come on. Come on. What it's worth, I wouldn't be in too big a rush to find Hillary. She's with Markham. I'm sure you remember him. Yeah, I remember him. The boy desperately needs attention. Uh, Scotch? Please. I, I've done my best, but I'm a poor second. Why don't you take a boat and go to Nantucket? The vineyard. Take the boy fishing. Do you both good. Spend the rest of the summer with him. I can't believe she hasn't seen him in two weeks, Edward. Well, it's pretty tough when a man can't defend his own daughter, but she hasn't. Nick, I'm going to be blunt. I believe it's very difficult to foster happiness in anyone. And when you're miserable yourself, I believe it's impossible. The boy needs love. He isn't getting it from Hillary. What are you going to do about it? Stick with it. I can't risk Johnny's well-being. What about your own? You ready to sacrifice your life for the child? If that's what it takes. Oh, I most certainly understand your problem, Mr. Brenham. You don't have to be embarrassed with me. Well, I just meant that you're very gracious to see me, and as soon as your son and Hillary return from the polo match, There I... you go again. Oh, you don't have to be bashful with me. I find you a very charming young man, of the sort one seldom encounters with Philip's friends, but then, of course, you're not a friend of his, are you? No, I'm not. No, well, neither am I. I hope you won't find that I'm an old dragon, Mr. Burnham. But I've spoken my mind straight out ever since I was born, and I see no reason to change my ways at this late date. Oh, uh, you know, Philip went awry a long time ago. Oh, it's probably my fault. Uh, one tends to spoil an only child, and then after his father died, of course, well, <laughs> enough of that nonsense. Tell me about yourself. Tell me precisely what made you marry that dreadful young lady that's been my house guest for that past summer, hmm? Well, really, Mrs. Markham, Hillary's a little wild. Wild? Oh, 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 that creature's fangs would unnerve a cobra. Well, still, I must admit that she's the 
first woman that Philip stayed with for any length of time. He's so fickle, and he, uh, well, at least they must have something in common. Now, pick that one. That is an Alexandra Rose. Mm -hmm. It was named after my grandmother by a smitten English lord who raised them as passionately as I do now. Mm -hmm. My, it's certainly hot for August, isn't it? Let's, um, let's go into the house and wait for my guests, shall we? My cook makes an extraordinary lemonade. And I think that rose would be more comfortable in your lapel than in your fist. Recurring nightmare. Oh, no, darling. This is only Mr. Burnham, your little playmate's husband. He's come all this way to take her home, where, unfortunately for Mr. Burnham, she belongs. Mother, I think that's a bit too much. No, dear. This is my house. And this lady is too much. Now, be a good boy and go in the house and make yourself presentable. As always, Mother, I am your obedient son. Sorry, darling. Bula bula. My congratulations to you all. And uh, refreshments are waiting. Nikki, how could you? In front of everybody. By tomorrow, all of Newport will know. Just what do you think they know now? That I have an unfaithful wife? But you don't want me. Who's got a son who she's neglected for the past nine months? Not very pretty, is it? Now we're all back together again. Johnny is in school, and you are going to play the proper wife and mother. When Johnny is 21 years old, then he can decide where he wants to be. Then I'll give you a divorce. I'll even give you away at the wedding. I'll pay for the wedding, but until then... Don't you think I don't know what's got you so set on destroying both our lives? It's that little ambassador's wife keeping you up nights. Well, I heard her rather elderly husband stayed in France while she came back here to the States. Don't you want to make your move? Get in the car. What an awful experience. Those men suffered so horribly. I felt so helpless. We all feel a bit helpless right now. I pray this will soon change. Well, not a lot has changed since you and... since you left. Oh, Franklin thinks we're well out of the Depression. And, of course, there are many people who are convinced that he would like to get into this European mess. War is always good for the economy, if not for the population. We'll have lunch now, Jonathan. Forgive me. Is there some reason why you've avoided mentioning our mom? Well, talk on the hill has been, well, frankly, very negative. Talk. Of course, we're all very sorry. And we do understand you're leaving him. But it was Armand who insisted that I go. It was a very difficult decision for him to make. He felt he should stay with his country. But he's with the government. Diplomatic channels have it that Armand is cooperating with the Nazis with uncommon zeal. 
that he has totally reversed his politics. Oh, if anyone had asked me, I would have been the last one to believe that Armand de Villiers could be a traitor. Oh, you have my deepest sympathy. Do you think I'm being too sensitive? What about the owner of the cafe where I worked, who suddenly decided he didn't want me around? Even Henri, our friend, couldn't persuade him. Suddenly, it's unpatriotic to have Jews in your employ. I know. Henri feels terrible about it, too. <sighs> Let me tell you how the Nazis work. First, they not allow you to work. Then, because you aren't working, you're a parasite. <laughs> so, unfortunately, you have to be eliminated. Shipped away. I told you, that can't happen here. <sighs> can't it? Try to be careful with, with the focus, with the background, you know? So it's everything. Berlin has been calling all day. Oh, uh, we? Yeah. Colonel Eichmann needs this immediately. What is it? A list of undesirables that are to be picked up. Another one. Huh? Routine interrogation. Dr. Fleuret. He teaches poetry. What is the danger? Apparently, he's turned his pen to political commentary. Oh. Alphonse Garnier. What is his crime? Other men. No, no, I'll see to it. We, oui, Excellence. My favorite. Guy's crazy. He had it there all along. Oh, he just didn't know me, that's all. Well. Hello, au revoir. Merci, eh? Salut. Salut. Will you stop being so stubborn? Come home. Uncle George, my home is here in Washington. Yeah, I'll not have you here in San Francisco. If your dad were alive, he'd be very upset you haven't come home. From what I've heard, you're flying the Nazi flag over that place now. When are you going to divorce that traitor? Look, Uncle George, if you keep talking like this, I'm going to hang up. You have no right to make statements about things you know nothing about. No, listen. A man came up to me at the club with a copy of the London Times, showed me a photo of Armand with a bunch of high-level Nazis looking mighty chummy. Yes, I'm here. Well, anyway, darling. Promise me you'll think about coming. Damn, I miss you. I'll think about it, Uncle George. Uh, I'll call you next week, okay? Goodbye, darling. Bye. Darling, 
At last, at last, I can smuggle a letter to you. Please take care when you write back that you write nothing incriminating. Everything is censored by the Nazis. Well, we are damn busy. Remember the Manet you liked so much in the museum and the Bonnard? We are hiding them in haystacks so the Germans won't cut them off to Berlin. I must be brief, you understand. I love you. I miss you. I would give my soul to touch you at this moment. You know the Nazis are checking everyone's papers. They're arresting foreign Jews. You might have been picked up. Papa, I can hide in that room forever. I feel like a rat in a hole. You're too young to remember what it was like. Marisha, you must believe your father. These beasts will stop at nothing. I know. But if I'm going to die, I'd like to die on my own terms, not theirs. Me too, me too. I know how to fight. Just let those Nazis try to get me. Aaron, be quiet. See what you've done? Now this child has your crazy ideas. Papa, I think Aaron is right. We shouldn't give in. We are proud people. We've survived for thousands of years. We must fight back. You ought not to go out again. That is my final word. I'm going to my room. Mr. Hillman? There are only these three. What is the meaning of this? We've been granted temporary refuge by the government of France. Refuge? From where? We are German citizens. You are Jews. Therefore, we will arrange for your return to Germany. Where is the woman, Marisha? She's gone. To Sweden. Uh, Sweden? Out! Go! Run, Aaron! Run! No! <laughs> Come here. Boy, up, up, up those stairs. No, please, don't leave him. Well, 
are going. We go. Move, pigs. Nothing else we could have done. They would have taken you too. I'm sorry, Sorry. Not too pleasant a situation for your government. Uh, the mistake Rudolf Hess is making by landing in Scotland on the estate of the Duke of Hamilton. You know, one of the Duke's men, when he sees Hess, uh, he goes to find his gun, apprehends him because he thinks he is a poacher. Moi, je trouve ça très amusant. Robert! Robert! Excuse me. Robert! I must speak with you. What could we possibly talk about? Oh, I am your father. And I miss you. <laughs> I, I've been trying to find you. Where are you living? I'm living with friends. I have uh, sent Lian back to the States. I had hoped uh, you would be able to join her. It is not safe for you to be here. I have personal obligations that I can't abandon. If you're referring to your friends, I have secured the passport. You're a little late, Father. They're gone. Your friends, the Gestapo, remember? I'm sorry. A Duvillier? Excuse me, but we must go. It's three o'clock, and Colonel Eichmann does not like to be kept uh, Yes, yes, I, I will be with you in one moment. Robert, I must speak with you. Please, come home. You're out of uniform, Father. You could be arrested for impersonating a Frenchman. Please forgive the intrusion, Excellency. General, <laughs> mon Dieu, you have changed since the Queen Mary. <laughs> Amon, do you remember Isaac Zimmerman? Ah, with great affection. Is there a problem? Well, we've discovered that he has certain communist associations while being in France. I know he's holding an American passport, but... I still feel I should have him detained in order to determine the scope of his involvement. I see. Uh, a cigarette, Jacques. <clears throat> cigarette? I don't smoke. Uh, Madame Zimmerman, where is she? Uh -huh. It appears that Mrs. Zimmerman has already returned to America. Oh, but Zimmerman is, 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 is an artist, is a musician, no more than that. I believe I could vouch for his integrity. And besides, uh, it would be extremely unwise uh, at this moment to raise the ire of the American government. If he is guilty of espionage, 
I must have him arrested. C'est tout, Jacques. Allez. Regarde. Oh, but he's international, this man. He's a figure of great prominence. Detaining him uh, would only be propaganda for the opposition. Herr General, you know, one day, this hostility will come to an end and all of us will be held accountable. You love your music. Isaac Zimmerman is a great artist. If I may suggest, I feel that it would be best if we could get him out of the country as quickly and as quietly as possible. That's how I feel. You do. Do you? Are you really thinking of moving to New York, Leanne? Yes. Or back to San Francisco. Good afternoon, Gary. I don't know New York very well, but I much prefer the East Coast. Washington isn't the same without Armand, is it? Well, let's just say Washington isn't the same. You know, I don't believe a word of it. So the gossip started here, too? Oh, a little. But when Isaac's letters get through, I hear some bits about Armand. How is Isaac? I must miss him terribly. The tour was canceled. Canceled? Yes, because of the occupation. Isaac has been waiting for clearance to get out of Europe. Since the Nazis invaded Yugoslavia, clearance has become even more difficult. Oh, dear. Well, my prayers will be with you. Oh, thank you, Leanne. Leanne! Oh, hi, Leanne. <laughs> oh, excuse me, Mrs. DVA. <laughs> Hello, Johnny. And Leanne is just fine. How have you been? All right. Hey, Mom, remember Leanne from the Queen Mary? Hello, Mrs. DeVille. Hello. Johnny and I are spending an absolutely fun Saturday together. How long? How nice. You remember Mrs. Zimmerman? Mrs. Burnham? Yes, of course. Are you uh, living in New York now? No, but I'm thinking about it. Oh, please, Steve, please. Well, my husband will be as delighted as my son if you do. All of you seem to get along so well together. Do call us when you're settled in. Come along, Johnny. Your mother needs a nice cold martini. About time somebody to join me for a drink. Places like a tomb. Uh, Where's Johnny? Upstairs in his little room playing with all the thousands and thousands of little airplanes his lovely mommy bought him today. Now, must have cleaned out F.A.O. old Schwartz and company in two hours. Oh, I better check on him. Ran into, uh... An old buddy of yours today, Nikki, my sweet. A nice lady buddy. I'll give you three guesses. I can't talk to you when you're drunk, Hillary. Oh, you know come on, come on. Let's just play this game for a minute. Come on, Nikki. I'll give you a hint. Her first name begins with a letter L. She used to live in France. Oh, that's two hints. <laughs> but here's the clincher. You're going to love this one, Nikki. Now she lives here, right here in New York City. How do you like them apples? We're going to double yet. You think I don't know what the hell's going on here? Of course, Leanne de VA. Where are the women around here gets you so hot? Where are you stashing her in it? In some small but very chic little apartment around the corner? 
Don't give me any of that, that stuff about working so hard you can't come home early. I know exactly what you're doing. I had no idea she was here. You haven't wanted to sleep with me since you set eyes on her. Well... We both know the real reason for that now, don't we? You can have your divorce. Mean it. You can have your Johnny. I'll sign anything a damn lawyer wants me to sign. You still feel the same way tomorrow? Uh, yes. Now I'm tired. I'm going out. I've had a lousy day. Excuse me, monsieur, is this the way to the bicycle shop? Two blocks down, around the corner. This is for you. Remember, you've only 30 seconds after you pull this string. Be careful. Right. When does he come out? Oh, he's really punctual. He always eats lunch at 12. 12, okay. It is time. You have to go now. Good luck. Merci. Problem with the chain. It happens often. The Jewish problem is out of hand. The anti-Semitic law drawn up in Vichy last week needs to be enforced immediately, doesn't it? Oui, bien sûr. Of course it does. The sooner we read France of Jews, the closer Frenchmen and Germans can become. Can I drop you anywhere? I am going to Hotel Meurice for lunch. Oh, vous êtes très gentil. I have a rendezvous close by. I must go. Alors, au revoir, mon général. Ah, hey, there. the ambassador's wife. The one I told you about. Oh, you mean the one your charming husband likes? But who is definitely not my type? That's the one. <laughs> well, I saw her yesterday. Right here in New York. And I think she and Nikki are... Uh... Where's her husband? France. Well, I wouldn't be too surprised. If you couldn't have me all to yourself, sooner than either of us expected. <laughs> Don't I already? Don't be slow. I mean, all the time. Well, say something. 
Darling, I think I know you pretty well. And unfortunately, I know myself even better. I don't know if I'd make a very good husband. <laughs> well, I never said anything about marriage. Who the hell said anything about marriage? Do you think you are the king of England? Come here. There. Do you recognize that? I think we'd better play our cards with a little more discretion. Please forgive me. You know, my father is a communist. They have to be as careful as the Jews. We are all being persecuted for what we are. Bernard, you and your family have been too good to me already. Thank you for letting us stay with you as long as you have. I pray Father Gerard can help you. Till we meet again. My friend. My son, my daughter. Forgive us, Father. We don't have much time. We desperately need some place to stay. I fear that's impossible. Look around you. This house of God has become a Nazi storehouse. These are all crates of ammunition. In a church? Nazi are aware that their lies won't bomb the churches. So they keep the supplies here, safe. I'm sorry. You can't stay. Well, Father, she's Jewish. Robert, please. We'll find another church. There aren't any nearby that are different from this one. And the fathers in the nearest parish were all executed for harboring Jews. I'm deeply sorry. I would give anything to help you, but I can't. May God be with you. Good afternoon. I'm Nick Burnham. Is Mrs. W.A.? No, sir. I'm sorry. I don't expect her until this evening. I see. 
Well, could you tell her that I was by and see that she gets these? She could reach me at the shore. I'll tell her, Mr. Burke. They're lovely. The gentleman can be reached at the showroom. Alan, I've decided to go to San Francisco for a while. I'd like to make arrangements to close up the house. How long will you be gone? Uh, indefinitely. I'm sorry at such short notice, but you'll have a month's salary. Thank you, madam. I'm terribly sorry to see you go. George, your driving is as bad as ever. <laughs> Don't be cheeky. It feels great to be home. I told you you'd like it. Now this is where you belong. Oh, look. It's as lovely as I remember. Yeah. You know, Kenji's been so overexcited about you coming. Mind you, I've been pretty excited too. <laughs> I can't wait to see him. Yeah. Kenji, hello. Oh, I've missed you. I missed you too. The house missed you. <laughs> Miss Leon, if only your father could see how beautiful you are. Oh, mm. Kenji, you're so sweet. <laughs> Darling, I've got a great idea. Why don't we throw a humdinger of a party, huh? Well, George, I really don't feel very much like parties these days. No? Oh, look. This view still takes my breath away. Brings back the memories, doesn't it? Wonderful memories. You sure you don't want a homecoming party? I'll do all the cooking, Miss Leon. Will you two stop? And please remember that I'm a married lady. And don't let my uncle talk you into anything. <laughs> I know that you want what's best for me. Isn't it is a cheeky thing? Just you wait till the fellas here get a good look at you. You are beautiful, Miss Leon. Oh, really? Could I see my old room, please? <laughs> You can't keep me from seeing Johnny. It's my legal right. I won't have him living with you and Marco. Mm -hmm. Don't lean on me too hard, Nikki. I might just marry Marco. And then where would that leave us? Hillary, you signed an agreement. You gave up your legal right to Johnny. Meaningless, utterly meaningless. I could say I signed it under duress. Mental duress. I could say that you threatened my life if I didn't sign it. I want my son and I'll have him. I'll say anything. You really intend to drag all of us into court, including Johnny? I do. And don't forget, Nikki, this is the United States of America. And I have God, Mom, and apple pie on my side. What if your father's home? He eats, he lives, he sleeps with the Nazis. He's never home. <sighs> but what if he finds out? <sighs> Stop worrying, OK? No one's going to look in there. The only person who's there right now is Helene, the housekeeper.
and she loves me. We all do. Come on. Excuse me, where's Helene? She no longer works here. She went to the South of France. You are Robert? Yes, I am. And this is my friend Marisha. Did Helene say when she would be back? I do not think she will return. I believe Helene is Jewish. I see. Your father was concerned about you. He said you might come home. He will not be in until late this evening. My father and I had a falling out. I just lost my job and my apartment as well. What I wanted, what we wanted to do was to stay in the attic. And you do not wish your father to know? Exactly. It's very embarrassing to come crawling back to him after something like this. He can be very old fashioned. You wish me to lie to your father? No. Just don't tell him anything. If something goes wrong, I'll take the blame. Marisha, you do not have formal? It's very important. You are Jewish? No, she's not. Yes, I am. We could be in a great deal of trouble. Your secret is safe with me. Thank you. You are Jewish? No, mademoiselle. I am French. Got a Dameron next week. I'll have to mention that to my husband. He's always loved God. <laughs> oh, she's just kidding. She has a great sense of humor, my niece. What are you doing here? I thought you were in Reno holding my ex-wife's hand. Our time flies when you're having fun. Dad, you're back. Mom's going to take me to live with them. They said it was all right with you. I want my son and I'll have him. If you think I'm going to live in this town and be branded as an unfit mother, you're really crazy. Come on, sport. Looks like you're going with us. Hands off at him. You'll pay for this. Now both of you get out. I'll see you in court. So early, darling, I guess I'm just not up to the social world anymore. 
You purposely abandoned me to those men. There are a lot of women in this town who could think of a worse fate. I happen to be a married woman, whether you want to accept that fact or not. Just what exactly did you tell them? Oh, I don't know that I said anything specific. Well, how unspecific were you? I just suggested that you might be open to um, some entertainment. I see. That's why I had all these propositions and proposals for trips and parties and combining families. <laughs> Leanne, you're a beautiful woman. Isn't it great that you're still in demand? No, it is not great. I want to be faithful to my husband. Faithful? Damn it, he's not even faithful to his own country. I'm not asking you to betray him. I'm just suggesting you get rid of the bum. Now, wait a minute, darling. You can fight it all you like. But someday, a real man is going to come along and you're going to say, I want to be with that fellow because he's alive and he's here. Not some shadow of a man you thought you once knew. Maybe he already has come along.